Hey, good morning. Welcome to Health and Wellness with Abby. We're going to have a um, yoga Pilates flow this morning. So um, get comfortable and let's get started. So grab your mat, maybe a block um, or something that could add a little lift if you'd like it. Could be a book or a couple books. Um, and let's, let's get started. Let's start standing on our mat and let's just take a moment to ground in. So let's place our feet all four corners on the mat and just find that nice support underneath us. And we'll take a few breaths, inhaling and exhaling, just settling in. One more breath, big inhale and exhale, let it out. Good, let's start at the top of our mat and let's uh, feel those feet again, just nice grounding in. I'm gonna put my hair back real quick. And let's take a big inhale, swoop the arms up overhead and exhale, take a swan dive down to the mat. Forward fold, let the head be heavy. Few breaths here. And then take a gentle halfway lift. Spine nice and straight. You could come to the tops of the thighs here. You could come to your shins or to the mat or even use a block here. Good. And lower it down. Exhale. Good. Place the hands on the mat. Step your right leg back into a lunge. <clears throat> Good, nice and light on your fingers here. And then sweep the hands up, coming into that high lifted lunge. Good, lower the hands, step your left foot back, come into a chaturanga here. So lower down, hands nice and long, feet can go out a little wider, nice straight line. Come forward just a little bit here, lower on down, bringing those elbows by your side, and then take it into a cobra, just gently lift it. Good, tuck those toes, send it back to your downward facing dog. Good, taking a couple breaths here. Maybe pedaling it out if that feels better today. And then bring your right leg up to the ceiling. Right leg up. Good, draw that in. Round through your spine. And then we're gonna bring that foot in between the hands. Maybe assisting, maybe not. And then nice lift of the chest. Good, and then step that foot to meet, left foot to meet the right, forward fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, sweep those arms up. And exhale, lower down. Good, inhale, sweep. And let's rain it down, lowering down. Good, hands come to the mat. This time, stepping your left foot back into that lunge. Light on the fingers, and then go ahead and sweep those arms up, taking an inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and then exhale, lower those hands down to the mat. Step your right foot to meet your left, come into that chaturanga here, and lower down, and into your cobra or your up dog. Tap the toes, downward facing dog. Find your breath, use your breath. And then extend that left leg up to the ceiling and then draw it in, rounding through your spine and bringing that foot in between the hands. Good, light on the fingers, looking forward. And then step the right foot to meet the left, forward fold. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Good, inhale, sweep the arms up, press evenly through the feet. And exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna step 
our right leg back, right leg back, just on a slight pivot, coming into our warrior one, we're gonna square our hips forward, reaching those arms up, taking that bend in that front knee, breathing here, and then we're gonna open it up, pivoting on the back feet, foot, coming into warrior two. Good, take a reverse warrior, bringing the back hand down, top hand up. Good, and then come up, take the forearm to the thigh, reach extended side angle. Find that length from the foot all the way to the hand, and gently lift back up. Sink back into that warrior two, gaze can come forward. Good, we're gonna pivot on that back foot, come into that high lunge. Maybe sink a little deeper here. Draw the low belly in and up. Lower the hands to the mat. We're gonna take our vinyasa here. So bring the feet together, hands, elbows in by your side, lower down and take that up dog or cobra. Maybe a little movement and press it back. Downward facing dog. Hmm. Find your breath here, starting to heat up. And then we'll take a little bend in those knees, walk the feet to meet the hands, forward fold. Let the head be heavy. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, sweep the arms up, press evenly through the feet. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Step your left foot back on that slight angle. Hips are coming forward. Bit front knee is bent. Good. And then reach those hands up to the ceiling. Coming into your warrior one. And we're going to pivot on that back foot. Come into your warrior two. And lower down. Maybe just a little bit lower here. Good. Take that gaze over that front hand. Take the back hand back, extend it back, reverse warrior. Good, come back into warrior two and extended side angle, reaching and extending. Good, press it back up, warrior two, sink a little lower, gaze is over that front hand. Good, pivot on the back foot, come into that high lunge. Lower the hands to the mat. Step the right foot to meet the left. Lower down, chaturanga. And take it to your up dog or cobra. Take the knees bend. Come out wide with the knees. Press back to a child's pose stretch. Good. Gently press it up. Bring the knees back underneath the hips. Tuck the toes and send it back, downward facing dog. Press through the heels, so heels are coming towards the mat, nice and long through the arms. Take a little bend in those knees, slowly walk to the top of your mat. Take a forward fold here. Inhale, press it up, sweep the arms up overhead, and exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna step our right leg back, extending through our arms, coming into a nice high lunge. Option to lower the knee here, so you could always come down on that knee or stay lifted. We're gonna bring those hands together. We're gonna take a nice inhale, and we're gonna exhale, start to rotate, drawing that elbow towards that front knee, and press through the hands, getting a nice twist here. Very detoxifying for the body. Breathing and maybe getting a little deeper into that twist with every exhale. Good. And then we'll slowly come back in to center. Reach the arms up overhead. Lower the hands down to the mat. 
and step your right foot to meet your left. Forward fold. And we're gonna roll it up, recessing that spine. And we'll take an inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart center. All right, let's step our left leg back into that lunge. Arms are gonna come up, left leg's gonna come back. Nice lifted lunge. Again, option to lower that back knee. Good, bring the hands together. We're gonna take that rotation on this side. So go ahead, draw, start to exhale and rotate, bringing that elbow to the top of that thigh and pressing. With each exhale, maybe getting a little deeper into that twist. Maybe just, even if it's in the mind. Good, and then slowly bring that back to center, reach those arms up. And lower the hands. Good, step the right foot to meet the left, chaturanga, lower down. Take it to your up dog and take it back, downward facing dog. Good, lower those knees to the mat. Walk the hands to meet the thighs and come up to seated. Good, we'll roll those shoulders back and down. All right, we're gonna take thigh stretch here. So we're gonna take the arms, mixing in a little Pilates, draw the core in and up, lean it back. Nice straight lean and come on up. Good, lean back, hold and up. Good, two more. One more. Hold, hold, bring the arms up and down. One more, good, bring it up. Nice job. All right, we're gonna take it to a little camel here. So we'll start it off nice and slow. You can stay right here with the feet or tuck your toes. We're gonna reach that right arm back, supporting our low back, and then we'll draw that in, and we'll extend our left arm, getting a little extension, and maybe that's where we stay, or maybe we come back a little further. Opening the heart, opening the throat. Gently press it up. Good, and then let's lower down into our child's pose, reaching the hands out long, lowering our head to the mat. Pressing our hands into the mat to draw our tailbone just a little bit closer towards our feet. Enjoy your breath, enjoy the heat you're creating in your body. We're gonna stand, sit nice and tall, so chest is lifted, shoulders open. And we're just gonna lift those feet off the mat. And we'll lower that down. Good, lean it back, lift. Extend the arms. Maybe extend the legs. Finding a nice little shake here. And lower that down. Good, nice and tall, restack. Take that again, lean it back, lift the arms, lift the feet, maybe extend the legs. And lower that down. Good, all right. We are gonna lower gently down onto our back. So just come on down to your back. And then let's go ahead, draw the feet in and we're gonna press up into a bridge pose here. So extending our hips and our knees and our shoulders in a line and then draw those hands together. Squeeze the glutes. Good, and gently melt it down. We'll do that again. 
back in, gently roll it up, or come on and hinge, straight line, interlace the fingers, squeeze the glutes. Good, and gently lower that down. And press it up, interlace the fingers. To a little bit of Pilates core work here. So we'll go ahead and take our left knee into our chest, extend our right leg out to 45, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and switch. And switch. And switch. Drawing the navel to the spine. Four more. Draw that in, lower down. Good, lift the head, neck, and shoulder, draw the knees into the chest. We're gonna take double leg stretch here. So you're gonna extend your arms and legs out, taking that inhale, and then exhale, draw it in. Good, inhale, extend, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, extend, exhale, pull it in. Three more. Two more. Last one. Good. And melt it down. Nice job. We're going to take the legs up to the ceiling. Bring your hands up your left leg as high as you can. Extend your right leg. Point the toes and we're going to pulse, pulse and switch. Pulse, pulse, 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 switch. Good. Two more. Last one, and bring it in. Bring those knees into your chest. Good, we're gonna finish with crisscross here. Bring your hands behind your head, legs to tabletop. We're gonna extend our right leg, cross our right shoulder to meet our left, not to meet our left knee, towards our left knee. Come back center and switch. Good, back center and switch, and switch. Keep the head heavy in the hands. Four, three, two, and one. Good, lower that down. Nice job. All right, we're gonna come to our side. Stack the hips, stack the shoulders here. Nice straight line, lift the bottom oblique off the mat. Little ladybug underneath you and lift and lower that top leg. You can always bend the bottom knee in or keep it straight for a little more of a balance challenge with the core. Good. Feeling nice and warm. Getting hot. Good. Three more. Two. And one. Good. Flex that foot. Bend it in and press. Bend and press. more. Three, two, and one. Good. Extend the leg. We're going to brush it forward and back. Brush forward and back. Keeping that torso nice and still. It's going to move probably a smidge, but just try. Two more. One more. And then we'll extend that leg out. Let's take circles. One more. Reverse it. Three, two, one. Awesome. And bring it in. Draw the feet together, open and close for clams. 
You're doing great. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. We're just gonna come over, press it up. We're going to come to our forearm here and we're gonna extend our top leg. And we're gonna use our bottom leg like a kickstand and extend our top arm to come into a side plank. We could stay right here or we can take those legs out, stagger the legs, or we could extend the legs, stack the legs, or we could extend that top leg. Woo! And lower that down, gently lower. Good. All right, we're gonna come over to our forearms here. We're gonna interlace our fingers and tuck our back toes to lift into a plank pose. So you'll just draw the core in and up. Maybe you just stay here with a little hinge in the knees or you extend, lift those legs up, coming to a nice straight line. You got it. Good, lower those knees, press through the hands, take a child's foot stretch. Reach long through the arms, and lower the head down, enjoy it and then gently come back up. Bring those hands back together, come back to that forearm. Again, you could take that little um, hinge forward or go ahead and lift those knees off the mat. Good, and then we're gonna tap it out to the side here. Toe taps out. Good, for three, two, one, one more, balance it out. Good, lower those knees, press it back. Child's pose stretch. Good, gently press it up. We're gonna come to the other side for our side plank. So just come on over to the other side. Bring your forearm down to the mat. Take that uh, bottom leg, take a kickstand, extend the top leg. Arms extended up to the ceiling. You could take that leg just add a lift here for a challenge. Again, we could stack the legs or stagger, or we could add that top leg lift. Good, and lower that down, lower the hips, lower all the way down onto your mat. Again, here for sideline, we can lay the head all the way down. We could use our hand for support, or if you really wanted to, you could even use the block. All right, take that bottom leg, bend it in, top legs extended, or you can extend that bottom leg and lift and lower. Sideline so good for our hips and our glutes. And strengthening those glutes takes so much pressure off of our hips, so it's really important. Good, two more. Last one, awesome. We're gonna sit, take that foot out, flex it, and bend it in, and press. In, and press. Keeping that core nice and strong. You're doing great. For four, three, two, and one. Good, let's extend it out, brush forward, and back. Forward and back. Three more. Two more. Last one. Good. Extend it out. We'll take our circles. more. Three, two, 
and one. Good, lower that down. Lay on back for just a moment. We'll take a quick figure four stretch. Just cross those legs over. Press that leg away, gently, and then switch. Good, and then we'll bring that in. Let's go ahead and come to our stomachs. So lay onto your stomach, curl on the mat, lay your head down onto the mat. Bring your hands by your chest. We're just gonna lift our chest off the mat, reaching our hands, extending the legs, drawing the feet together. And we'll lower that down. But gently lift and lower. Good, lift and lower. Two more. Lift, long, get long, and lower. One more, lift, good, and lower. Awesome job. We're gonna take the hands by your chest. You're just gonna press it up gently here, opening legs about hip distance apart. Lift it up, pressing through the hands if this feels comfortable in your spine, and then gently melting it down. If it doesn't, just come to wherever it feels right. So gently pressing up, taking that inhale, and exhale, lowering that down. Good, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Good, all right, we're gonna tuck the toes. We're gonna come to our knees here, kneeling. Good, we're gonna take a gentle cat-cow stretch here. So just go ahead, lower that belly, take a nice inhale. And exhale, we'll round through the spine, press through the tops of those feet. Inhale, lower. Exhale, round. Inhale, lower. Good, and exhale, round. Nice job. All right, tuck the toes, send those hips back, take a nice downward facing dog, press through your arms, make it feel good in your body. And then we'll gently take a light bend in the knees and go ahead and walk to meet your feet. Forward fold and roll it up. Go ahead, roll those shoulders back and down. All right, we're gonna grab your block. We're gonna come into a little balance work here. So grab your block or blocks. We're gonna start with um, we're gonna take our right leg just back on an angle here, coming into warrior one. So come into your warrior one. Good. And then from here, we're gonna to start to come into our half moon. So using your block or without your block, or you could even take a little star um, balance challenge to kind of do what might be challenging for you. We're gonna lift that back leg up lower down towards that block, flex our foot, bring that arm towards the ceiling. Good, lifting through our bottom leg and our top leg. Gaze, come towards that hand, or lower, and then slowly lower that in, bring that leg up, bring the hands together, and lower that down, awesome job. All right, we're gonna take it to the other side. So here, we're gonna take that left foot back, come into our warrior one, hips are forward. Good, settling in. Awesome, and then we're gonna gently press it up. Again, maybe just coming to that star, or we're gonna start to take that hand down towards our block or the mat. Open the hip, open the arm, flex the foot. Lift through both legs. And then we'll gently bring that in. Bring that knee back up, bring the hands together, lift, get tall, and then lower that down. Good, sweep the arms up, take an inhale, and exhale, take a swan dive to the mat. Good, 
breath, gently reset the spine, rolling back up. Roll those shoulders back and down. We're gonna take one more forward fold and we are all done. Reach those arms up, take a nice big inhale. And let's exhale, melt it down. And then gently come on back up, restacking that spine. Take that inhale up and exhale, hands to heart center. Awesome. Well, hopefully you got a good little workout in in a short period of time. Um, we worked pretty much every part of the body. So uh, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, it's so nice to be able to get a workout in with very minimal props, none if needed, and just to do it wherever you are. Um, drink lots of water, have an amazing day, and thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you. Bye.